project. So my essential question that guided me throughout my senior project is what are the necessary steps to organize a dog walk to fundraise for the No Dogs Left Behind organization? And just an outline for this presentation. So I'm going to start off with my inspiration. So why I chose this project, um, a timeline for the fall, winter, and spring and my outcome and my setbacks and successes throughout my project. A brief explanation to start. So I hosted a dog walk at Oak Grove Farm at uh, Millis and I raised money for a nonprofit organization. How this uh, project connects to the Millis High School core values and beliefs is from the blogs I bolded here. The Millis High School family fosters the intellectual, personal, and social growth of all of its learners. As well as the quote, we challenge students to develop increased understanding of themselves as citizens in a global society. Um, I believe that I brought awareness to an important topic regarding the illegal dog meat trade uh, by doing this project. Not many people have heard about uh, the illegal meat trade other than possibly the Lynn Dog Eating Festival that might bring a bell to some of you. Um, but not many people I talked to knew about it prior. Um, my inspiration. So since my sophomore year of high school, I've been a part of the Global Scholars Organization here at LSI. Um, the club fosters um, global growth and teaching us about global topics and events. Um, and one of the requirements to graduate from this program is to have your senior project be globally inspired. So I had a lot of thoughts going around in my head. And ultimately, I decided I wanted to do something that raised money for our cause I was passionate about. So um, how I came across doing something for animal activism is I was sitting down with my mom watching an episode of Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. And one of the housewives, Lisa Vanderpump, um, had a whole episode about her work with the Stop New Lynn organization. And basically she started her own organization and did a video um, about uh, stopping New Lynn. And I was very curious about it. Obviously it was terrible to hear, but I um, was really interested in what I could do to help. And uh, that's kind of how I decided that I wanted to do something around um, the illegal dog meat trade. And I remembered that last year, Caroline Mundy did a senior project regarding a dog walk. And I thought dog walk with a dog cause would be a perfect senior project for me. So about the No Dogs Left Behind organization. So essentially the head um, owner of the nonprofit is Jeffrey Berry. He works hands-on with a team of rescuers to go to these uh, Western Asian countries and help the dogs um, get off the slaughterhouses and the trucks and take them back to his shelter based out of Canada. Um, and they nurse the dogs back to health and make them adoptable dogs so they can find their forever homes. And um, I have the mission statement right in front over here, which I had for my um, participants uh, to learn a little bit more about the cause. And um, I thought the best way to help was to raise money for the organization um, so we can help them pay for those medical bills and for them to be able to go and save these dogs. A timeline for the fall. So it starts off with me contacting a few different organizations. Um, the one I had the best response from was No Dogs Left Behind. Um, I worked with the woman up top in the middle. Her name is Maura. She was my point person between um, myself and No Dogs Left Behind. She was awesome. Um, she really helped me out when it came down to planning and um, figuring out the best way to donate the money towards them. Um, and then the next step was finding a location. So I ended up choosing Oak Grove Farm. And I needed to find the, uh, someone who had contacted the event coordinator at Oak Grove because for some reason it wasn't available to me. Um, and I figured Mr. Tolley would be the perfect person since she had worked with them uh, for soccer purposes. So she gave me Sue McAvoy's e uh, email, who is the event coordinator at Oak Grove Farm. And then the next step was selecting my mentor. And I ended up choosing Ms. Yemba because uh, she is a part of Global Scholars and she is very passionate about animal activism and global topics and events. My following step was contacting uh, Oak Grove Farm. So I got to McAvoy's email, we went back and forth a few times, and I ended up having to go to uh, a meeting with the Oak Grove Farm Committee to present my idea. And I handed them this paper, which I will hand out to you right now. And this basically explained my senior project in a nutshell for them. And they had to um, approve it. 
so they could give me um, a permit. So I was approved. Uh, the only thing they asked of me was that I upheld the Oak Grove uh, rules, meaning no dog waste left behind and uh, no trash in general. And I had to stay on the trail to make sure I wasn't going onto the playground. Um, so once I was approved for the March 26th date of my two-year project, it was time to start advertising. So I went on to Canva and I made this flyer and I hung it up around the school. I put it on the school newsletter, um, social media, Facebook, etc. Um, and then my next step was to make a registration and I just did that on Google Forms. I just asked for my participant's name, their dog's name, and their email so I could contact them the day before um, with an email basically telling them what I need from them and what they needed from me. And after that, it was just some finalizing details regarding my maps and such like that. Um, the timeline for the spring. So with the trail, um, Oak Grove had given me a trail that Trail and Lindy used, but I did not end up using that trail. Um, I ended up contacting my coach, Liz Gass, and she helped me make my own trail. And the day of my event, I went out with my dad and we yellowed pre wrap and hung them around the trees. And um, that was kind of what guided my participants throughout the trail. And the next step was to give a little treat for my dog and participants. Uh, as you can see right here, I made a little treat bag. I had a little bandana, two dog treats, and just a thank you for supporting my senior project and um, no dogs left behind. And then the next step was just mailing my check out to no dogs left behind. And my outcome. So I had about 40 participants which exceeded what I thought it would be. I had about 25 uh, pre-registered participants, and uh, 40 was just really awesome to see. Um, I had um, fun doing it, and the dogs had fun doing it. Um, one of my research topics was dog socialization, and having the dogs get to be together was pretty awesome, and the participants had fun exercise that morning, and it just was a good Sunday morning. Um, I had a lot of gratitude for what I did from the No Dogs Left Behind organization. Uh, they were very happy with my work. They called me a role model and they wanted to advertise me on social media. So some of my setbacks. Um, the trail I was given from Oak Grove was Caroline's senior project last year, like the trail. And it didn't coincide with anything at uh, the trail. So the trail itself was already marked out from Oak Grove but the map did not go with what I was seeing. So I had to go and call someone who had gone to Caroline's senior project. So I called my coach, Liz Gass. Um, she came with me with her dog and we marked out the trail. We came up with my own trail um, rather than using Caroline's. Um, and it ended up all working out, but um, it definitely was stressful to have to deal with the day before my event. And then my next step was getting Venmo. I didn't have Venmo. Now that I have it, I'm grateful that I have it. It's really easy to work with. But um, having to deal with cash and Venmo was a little complicated because then I had to put it all into my bank account and then make a check. And on the topic of the check, I accidentally made the check out to Mora instead of no dogs left behind. So I had to go back to the teller and tell them, oops, I did that wrong. I need to do it again. And I made the check out to no dogs left behind and I did mail it out. And my successes, I raised $535 for the No Dogs Left Behind uh, organization, which is crazy. I did not expect to raise that much money. Um, it was great. I had fun doing it. Um, it was awesome to see all the people who came out to support me and uh, No Dogs Left Behind. And I learned a lot from my research. Um, I learned uh, about dog, dog socialization. I learned about um, the benefits of getting a rescue versus um, a dog from a breeder. And I really got to share my knowledge about the illegal dog meat trade to my participants. And I want to give a special thanks to Ms. Yemba for being an awesome mentor, Ms. Phil Brown for supporting me in my senior project, Sue McAvoy and the Oak Grove Farm Committee for um, giving me my permit and letting me use the grounds, Liz Gass for remarking the trail with me, um, Ms. Satoli for giving me the contact point, uh, my parents for supporting me, and the Leo Club volunteers who helped me set up and clean up uh, my senior project. And here's my work cited, and if there's any questions.